Welcome to John Eats Cheap. You know, I can remember when I was growing up, frozen pizzas were really, really cheap. They've gotten now, so they're pretty gourmet. You can spend several dollars, I don't know, up to eight dollars or something on a frozen pizza, probably more than that. You can still get a good frozen pizza for, I don't know, three bucks or so. I found these. I love the That Smart brand. We get a lot of That Smart stuff and haven't been disappointed yet. And I just noticed these in the pizza aisle the other day at our Hy-Vee grocery store. That's smart pizzas, $1.39. Now they are small, they're like personal pizzas. They don't have a picture, you can't see them, so I'm, you know, on a whim. I got a three meat, sausage, pepperoni, and ham, and also a cheeseburger. So Mrs. Cheap and I are gonna try these for lunch. Now, frozen pizzas are something that I usually soup them up a little bit. I'll add a little more meat, a little more cheese, something like that. But these, that is a mini, boy, and that doesn't have much cheese, does it? It's kind of hard to get into. I will take the plastic off. Boy, that has even less cheese, but that's okay. Remove plastic. They want us to do it right on the rack, but I always just use this pizza screen, which, by the way, is a great investment. The pizza doesn't stick to it. It really gets a good crispy crust. I'm assuming these cook the same amount of time. I got the oven preheating at 450. Boy, that is sealed in there. That's a decent amount of uh, meat. All right. 450 for uh, nine to 11 minutes or until cheese blend is melted. Oh, it's a cheese blend. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, I'm gonna eat it no matter what. Once I get these in the oven, I'm gonna see what the cheese blend is. But uh, there we go. Let's get it in there. 450, nine to 11 minutes, or until it's melted. All right, so I'm checking out the ingredients. Uh, it's, the sausage is made with pork and chicken. The pepperoni is pepperoni. I, I was talking about the cheese blend that it said. So this has mozzarella cheese blend. The first ingredient is mozzarella cheese substitute. Okay, well, now I know. I don't know how you, what do you blend a substitute with? That's not much. Uh, the other one has a cheese blend of cheddar cheese and imitation cheddar cheese. So, okay, it, maybe it's best that there's not much cheese on it. We'll find out. Yeah, I want to be a little more, a little more done. We give them a couple more minutes. I'm thinking they're probably done. You know, imitation cheese. I don't know how well that melts. You know, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> That's sad. It doesn't smell bad. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, it's a little crusty there. Now we're going to get these out. This would be the cheeseburger. This would be the free meat. I guess the good thing about not much cheese is it doesn't make the oven messy. You know, that's a bonus, right? Always remember to turn the oven off. I always, Mrs. Cheap and I both do it. You know, you get about an hour down the road and the oven's still on and go, Honey, are you finished with the oven? Can I? Oh, yeah, smart Alec. All right. Here we go. That's smart. $1.39 for each pizza. Try the cheeseburger first. I'm going to tell you, it looks and smells like Totino's, which, uh, you know, is a cheap pizza, and but somehow is oddly satisfying. Um, browns up nice. It was. I didn't check the bottom before I put it in. It probably was already pretty brown. Let's give it a try. This is the cheeseburger. That's actually a nice crust. Um, I mean, it tastes like a frozen pizza. You could soup it up. You could add a little more topping. It's not for a cheeseburger. It doesn't, nothing says cheeseburger to me about it. Let's try the pepperoni, ham, and sausage. Sausage. With the imitation cheese blend. Mm. That was a lot like a Totino's. Party pizza. Um, again, it's a it's a frozen pizza. You know, $1.39, like I like to say. You can eat cheap. If you've had a couple of cocktails or a couple of beers and just want frozen pizza, this is and you could soup it up. It's got a an okay amount of sauce on it. Not much cheese, but you could add a little cheese, a little bit of meat. And it's frozen pizza. 
Mrs. Cheap, I'm thinking you'll probably might want to heat up that uh, macaroni and cheese that's in the fridge. Maybe a couple leftover wings. I give it a eh, thumb sideways. I'm, well, I'll be honest, I'm not going to buy it again. But it's, it's frozen pizza. I don't usually buy frozen pizza. So you know, I got to quit wrapping these things up too soon. I always have thoughts afterwards. I, it's about, well, you know, it's two pizzas gone later. And uh, the crust on this is really pretty good. And there's not much of the cheese, imitation cheese blend, so that doesn't bring it down. The meat is real. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I just miss frozen pizza. Maybe I need to eat frozen pizza more often. But um, Mrs. Cheap and I, we finished these off for $1.39 a pizza. Maybe I'm, uh, I think I got a little blow, low, I think I got a little low blood sugar thing going on right now. Maybe, maybe that, maybe it's the low blood sugar talking, but, uh, I didn't usually finish off a pizza, but, and Mrs. Cheap, you know, she, she said, don't need the mac and cheese. Well, she, she might still have the mac and cheese, but I mean, the further I get into it, the more it's like, you know, it's, it's not bad. And a, a kid would eat it up. So, yeah, get these for the kids. Cheap, good crust. And they could throw on a couple pepperonis and a little cheese if you got it in the fridge. Okay, now I think I'm really done. John Eats Cheap. Thanks for watching.